my friends. This is Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my craft room. I am continuing with the decorating of this journal that we started in the last video. Uh, and I told you all about the progress and the status then. So if you haven't seen that video, just go back and watch that video. And if um, and it's just should be back one video, but also my junk journal playlist is always linked and underneath my junk journal videos. So uh, I wanted to go ahead and put a few more things in here that I showed you. So I have this piece here and I kind of looked for a place, you know, a couple places before the video. I thought I'd put this right here as a pocket. I think it looks good. So we're just going to like get it done today. <laughs> we're going to get it done. Uh, it will, the journal will be done, but because uh, I still have to put ephemera in here, but this is the pocket maybe call it the pocket and decorating part of the journal uh, it's hard to for me it's hard to narrow things down so this time and a lot of times I'll do that I'll just go through and pick out things like I did this time and put them on my desk and say these are going to go in here somewhere hopefully I'm going to try to put these in here <laughs> so so uh, that's what I did I put out some scraps and some ephemera and see things I've made and now I'm trying to put them in here. And this one's a scrap. So I think it's really pretty on this this uh, this coffee dyed paper here. So that is going to be a pocket there. I think I'm going to have quite a few pockets in here in this journal. Uh, let's see. So next, I see I put up a few things in here already that I want to use. I just have to find them now. And then I will uh, use the things that I haven't put in here. So let's see, where is the next thing here? Let me separate that real quick, make sure that's not getting glued together. That's good, there was just a little piece of glue there and I got it off. Okay, here's the next thing. This is a piece of wallpaper that I had pulled out. I don't know if I showed you this in my last video. But a uh, piece of wallpaper. And then I thought I would maybe try to incorporate that so this is literally a scrap like I haven't cut it it just looks like I tore it off or something it's to just torn uh, maybe this is cut right here so I thought I don't like this point so I thought I would tear that off I, th I thought since it's torn here I would continue with the tearing so let's I do like this little piece here though but I don't know let's see if we can make a smoother little edge here by just tearing it okay there we go okay so that looks better so it's just a torn piece of wallpaper scrap very pretty it has some green on it like the uh, cover here you know these greens that I've used in here it really matches the inside here I can get to it right there okay now I've lost my page where was it <laughs> Where was it? The perfect page. I think, did I have it here? Uh, let's see. Oh, shoot. See, that's why I put it on before the video. I say the pocket was there. And I turned back, and it was about, wasn't there, wasn't there, wasn't there, wasn't there. It wasn't on white. It must have been. Well, now I don't know. Shoot. Well, we can put it here. Okay, so say we're going to put it here. Let me put a little something on here so I don't lose my page again. And I have this. I wanted to see if I can combine this in any way. Uh, so I have, this is an old uh, scarf that is, I don't think I coffee dyed this. I think it's its natural color. I got it from a thrift store. So I can combine maybe some of this. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. I want to see how I could put this together. So something like this. I don't really want to cover up the lace though. So I could put... If I use a piece of lace, I could use it. I don't like things sticking out the bottom really. I could put the lace on the, on the side. But I don't want to stick in way out either. Maybe we'll use this on another page. But can I use a piece of the fabric here? Let's try that. 
to a piece of this. This is like linen, old linen. So that and this, I think that would look cute. Let's try that. Let's cut a piece of this linen off here. Just There's kind of like a square here anyway, so let's cut a little square off here. It looked like it was bigger than that um, wallpaper piece. So we'll cut a piece of this off and see what we can do. I'm going to cut this off here, just where the square is shaped in this linen scarf. It's a table scarf when I say scarf. Table scarf. Probably like, almost like a table runner. Okay, so that could go here. And then that could be layered on top. As a fun little vintagey pocket or tuck spot. So I think I need to, I want to kind of have this sticking out over here though. It doesn't have to all go, it doesn't have to all fit onto the, it doesn't have to unless I want it to. Maybe I will have it all on there. I just want some of this pretty edging to show over here so maybe not all on there so something like that so we need to glue these together first or sew them together I didn't even think about sewing till just this second but that would be really cool to sew those together with some zigzag stitching um, I think I might put a little glue on there and then go so it stays in, in where exactly where I want it and then go and stitch and uh, we will see how it comes out so I'm going to put a little glue right in the middle just because it, then it won't interrupt my stitching to hold it in place so just like, like, like that just a little bit and I want this little I know it's small but I want these two little patches to show here so I'm going to put that out a little bit like that so there's my glue right there and see I've got my two little patches showing here and then this little bit and this little bit I wanted to show too so all right so I'm going to pause and I'm going to sew this somewhat and see I don't know if I'm going to sew all the way around I'm going to see how it looks I'm going to sew I think here and here and then I'm I might end up gluing this part down I just want I think it would look really cool with some sewing on there so just one second I'll be right back Okay, so here it is. I ended up sewing here, here, and here, and I decided I'm going to have this be the pocket, the wallpaper piece. This is, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I can't do that. I put glue in the middle. Can I undo it? <laughs> I just thought about that. Nope, nope. Okay, so I guess I was thinking that would be, well, it could be a sh shallow pocket right here because the glue is right here. So maybe I'll have that be a shallow pocket and then this can be a tuck spot also. Uh, so let's so, so I would glue it, glue it here and here and then that would be a tuck spot. Unless I want to glue it here, here, and here and just have this top part be the pocket. Um, let me see. I just wanna see how sturdy it's gonna be. So if I glue down over here I think I think I would rather have it glued down over here too just for sturdiness sake so yeah and then we'll have a little something in here we can put some little mini tags in this part right here so yeah that'll work and, and I think it's really cool I used up uh, two piece of wallpaper scrap pretty wallpaper scrap and a piece of this linen that I need to use I you know I have all I have a drawer a little drawer here in my craft room it's a small one but I just have some little scarves and doilies in there that I want to use and because uh, I have some in another room too and but the ones I put in here are the ones that in my mind I uh, want to be currently using but I haven't used any in a while and uh, this past week I reminded myself of those and I thought uh, this is the perfect chance to get one of those out so I said glue all the way around but not on the top so, and I just used brown zigzag on that stitching, and I think it's really cute. So I 
me. Making sure there's enough glue on here, all a solid line. No gaps here. I want it all nice and glued down with my fab attack. And this is going to go right in the corner here. And that's going to be just really pretty. And something unique and different. You know, like I don't do the same thing in each journal. I always do different things. So each journal, even though this is a vintage, vintage, vintage journal, and I've made a couple of vintage journals here pretty much in a row, finishing unfinished projects and new projects, uh, they're all very different. <laughs> so anyway, that is really cute. I like that. Okay, so I think there was one more pocket here I had. Let me see if there's any. Let me put something here that uh, I can protect this page with. Uh, let me pull out. I have a big scrap here. Let me pull this out. I just want to make sure that this is a piece of file folder. I don't want this to get glued down to anything like the page before it. So I'm going to put that there for a moment while that dries. This is another piece I had pulled out and showed you in the last video. It's double-sided scrapbook paper. And I thought this side would look really cute. It's got some greens in there too. And I had put it right here to glue down right here. But I need to cut a little sliver off, like about a quarter of an inch right here. So let's do that. And then we'll glue this little piece down as a pocket. And those, those pockets that we glued down, uh, all three pieces were from my scrap box. So I need to, like, it's, it's building. <laughs> the moment is building. And I really don't want it to get out of hand again. It wasn't out of hand. I had it organized, but I just had so many scraps. And last year I used them all up. I'm going to put Fabri-Tac on this one. I mean, art glitter glue. I just think the fabri is going to be overkill on that, this one. So, um, yeah, I don't want it to get, like I, before I used them all up, if you didn't see my scrap box before I used my scraps up, uh, it was divided into, I think, four bags, four Ziploc bags of different types of scraps. And now I'm not having to divide them up because there's not that many in there, but they are building, like I said, so... I need to do some type of scrappy, I need to use them, plus do some type of scrappy projects too, so I can use, get kind of get caught up with them again. It is nice to have a few around, so you can use them when you want to scrap, but it's not nice to have too many around, <laughs> so I found out. So. so, okay, let's get that right down into that little fold there, and then... We'll have a pretty pocket here. I think this is really like these are like vases or vases with flowers in them. However, you might want, however, you say that. I say vases, but I like the word vases. <laughs> okay, so that's a nice pocket. We're gonna let that dry though, not pull on it. So that is cool. The other thing that I showed you, I think, I don't know if I showed you this or not actually. I showed you this maybe. And I, I, we used some of this trim in the last video. I wanted to see if this could be a ribbon on the top of this. Let's see. Let me look at it real quick. Yes, yeah, right side up. So uh, I want to see if I could tie a bow. This is not super thick. This is fabric-y type trim. So I want to see if I could actually tie a bow with this. Or is it too, is it too thick? I can just make a loop if it's, uh, if it's too thick. Let me make a little slanty slant cut here. And see, is it too thick for a bow, or do I just need to make a little loop at the top? We're going to experiment real quick. Since we already used this in here, and I have a little slot punch. This was in my scrap box, actually. I don't know. I guess I made it, and I didn't use it. Like, I didn't decorate it or put a topper on it, so I put it in my scrap box. So this was out of my scrap box, too. So now I'm adding to it. And I can leave it like this. I think it's cute just like this, but I can decorate it or I can leave it here in the journal for someone else to decorate. It's a little bit thick, but I think that... Oh, I was going to try to tie a bow, wasn't I? That's the loop. So the loop can work. Let me see. If I tie a bow, I don't put it, bow, put it, put it like that. I do it just one piece in. And then try to tie a bow. Let's see, and then get these two ends even. So, 
he's even. Okay, and then see if I can tie a bow. And usually I don't tie a knot because it just ends up being too bulky, so I just go straight in for the bow. <laughs> straight in for the bow, no knot. The bow is the knot. <laughs> so let's see how this works, if it works. I think it'll work. I don't know if I'm gonna, it's gonna be even though. It looks like it's gonna be uneven. I don't know why it's even because I had my ends even. I mean, I don't know why it's uneven because I had my ends even. Uh, it's kind of bulky, but I think it might be okay. Let me pull this a little bit more. It's really pretty and cute like that. I would just have to cut this piece off. So I kind of really like that piece too, so I'll save it for something. I really like this ribbon, so there's no reason I can't save that. And look how cute. Yeah, it did work, didn't it? I'm going to stick it right here for the moment. I don't know if it will stay there, but there we go. First piece of ephemera in here. So another thing I wanted to use in here was this ephemera piece that I made. It's a, let me get my glue off my finger here. Uh, it's an Edith Holden file folder that I had made out of an Edith Holden page. And it's super pretty. And I've got a little label here that you can write on, on the tab. And this says notes. So really cute. Uh, I could put it in a pocket, make it a pocket back here and then have a fold out or I can glue it down like this and it could be like this so I haven't really decided uh, let's see let's start at the back I, my my uh, I usually try I try not to start at the front because then I end up with everything at the not that I end up with everything in the front but I just don't want everything to end up at the front so I usually start at the back and go Toward the front so I don't do that but uh, here's what it would look like like this it would fit on a page if I wanted to do that uh, I think I don't want to put it like that in the middle of a page I don't want to I I kind of really like it like this I probably you probably do too it's a little a little wide though so I'm I could cut a sliver off over here. This is probably one of the widest pages. Uh, let me see if there's anything that's a little bit wider so I wouldn't have to cut anything off. This one's a little bit wider. No, yeah, yeah, I think I think I could get it on this one without cutting. No, I think that, let me try it over here on this side. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to cut a sliver off no matter what I do. Unless I put it this way, which I don't really want to do. I just really like it the other way better. I like it on here because it's got this butterfly with lots of browns on it. And it looks really pretty with the grungy paper. Uh, let's see how it fits there, though. I will have to cut a little sliver off. But see, there's a number here. I wouldn't have to cut that number off. So there's really nothing there. If I cut a sliver off, there's really nothing right there. And so... Let's do it. Stop hesitating. Okay, so there's the sliver. Let's see how it fits now. That does fit now. And then I would just re-round my corners. Whoops. Re-round my corners. Move over. Re-round my corners. And it's all brand new. <laughs> all back to normal. Okay, and then we'll glue it right here, and it'll be a little flip down. So it is the picture inside. This is right side up. Oh, this is right side up too. But when I glue it down, this is um, going to be upside down. So uh, somebody could, I think I'm going to leave it like this, and then somebody that gets this can decide how they want it. Like you could glue, put glue on the sides here, and then glue this down as a pocket. Or you could put writing paper in here, some coffee dyed paper or whatever, lined paper, whatever you want over this. Uh, it would just be up to the person to just make that decision. So they can have some fun, you know, with that. For this, this is um, this is fine to use, I think, to put uh, on and glue on with some. Because, you know, Edith paper, Edith Holden pages are not thin, but they're not super thick. I think it's fine. It'll be fine with the uh, art glitter glue there. And then 
I have that brown setting off that brown butterfly there. That turned out perfect, actually. I really like that a lot. I'm so glad I picked this out of my... When I saw this in my... Uh, I just said, Edith Holden, oh, i got to use that. I didn't realize it would be so perfect, actually. So there we go. We glued it down on the sides there, so we will have a pocket. Let me see. I have another piece of ephemera I pulled out here just to put in here because of the greens and it's a book page and it's got piano roll paper on the back so this could go right there let's make sure that's not going to come up with me sticking that back there already and it's not going to glue, get glued in because it's not even touching the sides so that is super pretty okay now what else did I want to do oh I wanted to do something with this because I love this ledger paper and I also pulled this out of my scrap box. I need to even up the top edge here. It's crooked. So there we have that even. And I was thinking of making this like a writing spot or not like a writing spot, a writing spot by just folding this in half and rounding the corners. And I love this, like I tell you uh, about this ledger paper that I love. I love the color, but it also came with writing. It's used and it came with these receipts on it. So I leave them on there. And then whoever gets them, they can take them off. Like there's a little staple right here. You can remove the staple. But there's lots of writing room or decorating room, whatever you want to do. But isn't that pretty? And the person that had this has really neat handwriting. So all the numbers, I think, are really... I think they're just really cool, like even as just like a decoration. So we need to look for a place for that. So we've put, uh, let's see, we put a couple things in the back now, haven't we? We put that in the back. And oh, we put this pocket in the back. And we put this pocket in the, is this in the back still? Let's see where we are. Yeah, that's still in the back. Let's take this out now. That's probably going. So this is all in the second signature. The wall, this pocket and the wallpaper pocket. So let's go back up to the first signature and maybe look for a place for this. So I do like to put writing spots a lot of times on like a book page or a music page. And so like we could put this right here. I'm uh, thinking I like it, but uh, it's got this washi over here, and I think it still looks good with that. But I'm, I'm thinking I might need something else, if I can put something else behind it, but that might look cool. So let's see what I have to put behind it. I have these scraps over here that could be a decoration behind it. So like something like this. That that looks good. Or see, this is um, I don't really want to cover that up because if I was going to do that, I just get copy dyed paper out. But if say if I did have copy dyed paper, it would look like that, kind of plain looking. But it looks good. Okay, this one that looks cool. Also, I think it actually looks better than the other one, the first one. And then I have this other scrap here. And I have that one. Huh. Interesting, right? I would have thought, I would have gravitated toward this or the first one. But I think I actually like this one better. It makes it stand out more. See that? And it kind of goes with the washi tape. It kind of just blends everything together. Isn't that weird? So what do you think? Should I do it? Well, I think maybe uh, I should do something <laughs> with it. Let's see. Let's, let's see how we can do this. First of all, I'm going to cut a piece that will fit on here. So let's cut it like right here. And I'm thinking this could be some sort of cool flip out. What do you think? Or a belly band. It would be a huge belly band. Wait a minute. Is this straight? This is not. Is this straight? I think it's straight. No, I don't think it's straight. Hold on. I think I cut that too fast. I didn't make it straight. Okay, let me do it again. There we go. That's better. 
So it could be a belly band if I cut it smaller, but then this wouldn't fit on there. So I needed this big for this, but it could be a flip out with a, and then this could be on the outside. So fun little thing there. And then that would strengthen this uh, side of this paper. But I need something to join it, join it together. So for the flip out, so I need either a hinge on top or a hinge underneath. So since I have these scraps here, let's see what kind of what would look good with it. Well, here's an actual thin scrap. So this could be the thing right here. This could be the thing. And it will be the thing. So let's do it. <laughs> We're going to put this on the outside because it's a pretty scrap. If it was just a copy dyed piece of paper, I might put it on the inside. You can put your hinge on the inside or the outside when you're doing something like this if you want it hidden or if you want to see it. So let's fold this in half. I'm kind of excited about this now because I didn't plan this at all. I just said I want to use that ledger paper in here as a writing spot. That's all I had planned. And I was thinking, you saw me, I was just thinking about gluing it down like that. But then when I put it down, found a place for it, I thought, oh, you know, I could have put it down there, but it needed, kind of needed something behind it, I thought. So, I mean, this is what you can do in your own journal. You can do stuff like that if you have a journal with blank pages. You can do this exact same thing what I'm doing right now in the last two videos. Everything I've done in the last two videos, you can do in your own journal if you already have one and you don't know what to do with it. You can do all of these things that I just did. Because like I'm just using scraps and, you know, things I have, so... Just pull out a bunch of stuff that you have and then just start putting it together. So we're going to glue this on here. Let's uh, put some glue here first and get this glued down. And this is not, this is just scrapbook paper. It's not cardstock. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here. And let me just smear that out a little bit. So it's kind of like we want this nice and solidly glued down. Okay, so it's plenty of glue, more than enough. And I want to get this right up into that crease. So uh, let's see if I can do that. All right, I think I did it. And now our this piece is going to be glued on here. And then we'll have that pretty overlap of paper there. And it just looks very junk journaly, but pretty. It's almost like a journal with me, but this is a new journal. This one will be going in my shop. <laughs> so it's not my journal, but I'm just getting it ready for whoever is going to get it. Let me make sure there's not, there's not. I need to put some glue right up there to the tip, tip, tip. And I'm just going to do it like this, and then I'll add more glue if I need it. We'll see. I could put it on. You could put it on there, too, but I put it on the edge, as you saw. Okay. I've got glue on my fingers now, so I need to get some glue off my fingers so I don't get glue everywhere. Isn't that fun? Kind of like almost like a Franken page flip there. Okay, I think I need a little bit more glue under there. Let me, make, let me see. I probably should have put it on the other thing, on the flip instead of the uh, the uh, on here on the little paper instead of the big paper. I don't know why I did that. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking. <laughs> That's what happens. When you're not concentrating. Okay, there we go. And this is art glitter, art glitter glue, so it will dry clear. So any glue you see here showing will not be any. You won't be able to see it when it dries. So I'm not too worried about it. Like I am making a mess. <laughs> I am making a mess. I usually don't do that, do I? I do, I don't, I really don't. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making such a mess right now. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, I got glue on my fingers too. Let me get this off a little bit here. Let me get something that doesn't have glue on it. I just want to get this all nice and flat. This is called using what you have next to you. <laughs> just grab my ruler. <clears throat> All right, that looks good, and it looks really cool. Put the two papers together. So there's our flip out. Flips out nicely. Make sure there's not glue right there that's gonna glue this down. I don't think there is. Okay. I'll keep. I might keep that open though. After after I get done here. So this we have this, and our next step is to glue this down here. So we're going to put glue all over the back of this, art glitter glue again. That should be plenty. Get it right in the middle of this flip out. There we go. So you've got this. Boom. <laughs> Boom. You got writing room here. You could still put more coffee dyed paper here or something. Pictures, glue down, whatever. This is wide open for whatever. Writing space. Writing space. And you still have the whole back. And then you have a pretty little decoration actually here. And we've strengthened the side of that page so that will never, you know, you don't have to worry about that tearing or anything. It is old hymn book page, like I said, but it wasn't really thin. I said that in my last video, I think. So there we go. We have this little strip. We can always use that for a decoration somewhere. You know, it could even go like right there. But I don't want to cover up this pretty ledger paper right now. So um, uh, is that everything I wanted to do during this video? Uh, I've got this piece of ephemera that I wanted to make into a pocket possibly. But I need to sew around it. Let's see if we put it. Let's see if we can find a spot where we might. If I, you know, if I can't find a spot for it, like I could put it right there. Let's see, this is another hymn book page. I could put it right there. It looks actually looks good there for some reason. Let's see. Uh, I don't think I want it to be a decoration on a pocket. Uh, it looks good on the hymn book page. Let's see, anywhere else that we might want this. It's just old and vintagey. This is, I think, from a work basket, like a 19. I have some 19, what are, they, what are these, 50, 40, 50, 60s, whatever it is. Um, we've got a pocket on this side, so I wouldn't put a pocket over here. I don't like this as a decoration there. We're in the back of, um, so I really like it um, on the handbook page. I don't know why. It's weird, right? Because it has writing on it, you would think you'd want it on a plain page, but it looks it looks plain on a plain page. It looks too plain. So uh, let me go sew around this. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna go sew around this. I feel like it needs to be sewn around, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I sewed around that little piece. I did some straight stitching across the top and zigzag around the sides and the bottom. <laughs> so it's ready to glue down. And since this is uh, backed with file folder and it's stitched around, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac glue on here. Uh, it will seep through the stitching, you know, like all around it and glue this down solidly. So let's do that. And I found one more thing. Well, not found it, but I have one more thing I'd like to glue down somewhere in this journal before I end this video, so we're going to just do that real quick. And then, the next step will be adding ephemera, which I already have lots made. So I will do that and load this thing up. 
blow this journal up with lots of ephemera and then I'll be back for my flip through. I might add a little few little bits and pieces like cluster, cluster and I don't know, Tim Holtz person or a little washi sticker or something. I gotta look through my little vintagey stuff like that and then maybe add a few of those things. Look how cute. I have this envelope. I need to put something in it. But uh, this will go in here. Sorry, piece of glue there. And so this, I, I will put something in here and then put it in here somewhere. Like maybe even right there. I don't want to get, I don't want to, I want this to glue down though. So I'm not going to put it, I don't want to pull this up. So I need to let that dry. Okay, the other thing I wanted to glue down was this glassine bag. This is decorated glassine bag here. It's just, there's nothing inside right now, so I'll be able to put a tag or something in there. So let's see what we have here. We have, see, lots of stuff at the front here. Like I said, pockets, pocket, 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 <laughs> pocket. <laughs> and the second half of the second signature. We got a little flip out that we made. Got a tab. And flip fold out. So let's go to the second signature. We've got a pocket. Pocket. A little tag that we just finished off. And then pocket there. That's the first half of the second signature. So okay, so there's that little flip down there. We got I know we got a pocket back here somewhere. Let's see, where is it? Right. Oh. No, okay. Oh, we don't have a pocket back here. Okay, so there's three pages, then this flip down, and then boom, boom, boom. So let's see, we've got a pocket there, and a pocket there. Okay, second half of the signature, then. Let's, we could put it right here, and we'll have a few pages until this flip down. So yeah, I think maybe right here. Let's see. Our last pocket is right there, so we got one, two, three, one, two. Okay, let's put it right here. Yeah, that's really pretty on that page, too. This is uh, it looks like it's avocado dyed and coffee dyed. I'm not sure this paper in the background here, and then I've got a washi kind of acid. No, it's an acetate sticker here, that green. Kind of uh, leafy, what is that, eucalyptus? And this is a wax, an actual wax seal here. So, and for glassine, like this waxy paper, of course I'm going to use, I'm, I like to use, uh, to glue this down, make sure it sticks, um, some Fabri-Tac. This one's getting toward the end, so I gotta shake, shake, shake a little bit. <laughs> so, excuse my shaking. I'm not shaking, I'm shaking the bottle. <laughs> uh, it's coming. I feel it. I feel it. Yes, here it is. <laughs> so I'm just going to glue this solidly down to this page. This has been in my stash for a while. I made a lot of, most of these things, on. I mean all of these things, I really believe I made on camera, on video. So they're on my channel somewhere, all these ephemera making journal uh, videos. Okay, so there we go. That's all nice and gluey. It looks beautiful on that copy dye paper though. Well, really, you can make a copy dye pa pa journal with all copy dye paper and then just totally decorate it up, you know, and leave some for writing, leave some for decorating and gluing whatever you want to glue in. But like I said, if you didn't hear it before, these are all things you can do with the journal that you already have. Um, if you need ideas on how to decorate a journal and what to do with a journal, watch these, watch my videos, and you watch my decorating videos, and then that will give you lots of ideas. Decorating and putting in ephemera and just uh, you know all those type of things, putting in pockets, all those kind of type of things. Because you don't have to do your pockets beforehand. You can do your pockets after if you would like. If you have a journal without any pockets, you can totally put in lots of pockets. You can put a pocket on every page if you want. <laughs> so anyway, let's see, see if she's getting chunky yet. Not too chunky, but she's getting a little, little fluffy. She's getting a little fluffy. She sure is. 
Yep, I love it. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this journal process. Like I said, I, I put this down and now I'm so glad I didn't just get so frustrated that I threw it away because <laughs> that thought went through my mind. And uh, I love the, the little stitches there and the, the fabric and just how it all is turning out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.